now we're going to learn about something called residuals. Now a predictive value is known as y hat. That's what we're predicting. But the true value is actually y. So when I want to find the residual or the error, sometimes called prediction error, I take my actual value and subtract it from the predicted value. I always get these mixed up. So what I, what I always remember is that if the residual is positive, so first I'll show you what a residual is. So if I have this, I have my linear regression line. The residual is the vertical distance up and down between the line and the linear regression line and our point. The points that are above the line have a positive residual. The points that are below the line have a negative residual. And that just makes sense. And so uh, if you're confused on whether it's y hat minus y or y minus y hat, just think about is, the, is our point above or below our line? And that can help you figure it out. Now, if we want to find the residual for this point, first thing I do is plug in these values into your calculator and do a linear regression. And now that I have a linear regression, what I could do is just take this and write the linear regression equation and plug in 47.4 here and get my y hat value and then subtract those values. Or another th way, way to do it is uh, once you have those values, uh, when you do a linear regression, make sure you put in your y1 over here, bars to the right, enter, enter. And then when you graph it, the line's gonna be over here. Now, uh, to calculate that point, if I hit second trace, which is our calculate, and just hit enter, we could type in 47.4, and we can see that point's there. So right here, we should know that our residual should be negative because our point is below our line. So if I pull that out, uh, what I want to do is take what we predicted, 159.15. And subtract that from our actual point, 153.3. And when I subtract those, oh, got to do it on another screen. I should get a negative answer, which is negative 5.58. And that is my residual. Now, if we wanted to find the residual for all of these, we can create something called a residual plot. And a residual plot is a scatter plot that uh, that's going to do our x values and plot them against our residuals. So. <clears throat> to do that, what we want to do is find the expected value for each of those, subtract it out, and we'd have the residuals. Now, our calculator gives us another way to do this. Uh, once we do our uh, linear regression, so 8, we'd have our linear regression, hit enter. This is our linear regression equation, right? So now what we want to do is to find the residuals, if you hit second list and go down, it actually makes a list of all the residuals, or it should, right there. And yours is going to be at a different spot than mine. All of them are kind of, there's each calculator has a different thing for where the residuals would be but it should say resid, and res is not resid, so make sure you find resid. And so that right there is gonna give us all of our residuals. So there's a couple ways we can get the residuals. We could just go to L3 and then do second stat, which is list, and hit residuals and enter. 
and those would be all of the residuals. So then we could just plot those points versus your x variables here. Uh, here. All right, I just scaled the axis uh, by fives in both directions, just so you didn't have to see me go through all the work. And now I'm just going to plot the points. I have 56.7, 8.1. So that would be somewhere up here. 47.4 and negative 5.8. There, 43.5 and negative 3.6, 44.8 and 9.36 or 9.63, and 55.2 and negative 8.3. So this right here is our residual. This is the residuals. And here is the knee height. Now, when we're doing residuals, we don't want some obvious pattern. We don't want a curve. We don't want uh, what we call fans. And we want the values to be close to the predicted value. So some plots that uh, which show a linear pattern is if your residual plot is very scattered like this. This is what we want for a residual plot. Um, if there's very few data points, it's sometimes people see a curved relationship, uh, and that's just when there's very few data points. There's it's hard to predict, and, and it's easy to see patterns when there's just a few. So don't worry if you just have a few data points and it looks like a curve. But if uh, some things that you that show a nonlinear pattern would be like this. If the data points would look like this, that would be an indication that it, uh, the original data isn't linear. Or even if we had residual plots that look like this, that would be an indication. That's an obvious pattern. Those aren't scattered. So uh, we would say that we'd have to look more as to whether the linear regression is actually fitting this data well, if, our, if it looks like this. All right, so here's a quiz of 10 students. Oh, uh, and before we do this, uh, I forgot to show you how, one quick way to show do a scatter plot on a calculator is if I go to stat plot, I can just turn my Y list to residuals. Like this, and if I hit zoom nine, this is the same scatter plot that I have here. So that's a quick way to to graph it or to verify that you graphed it correctly. All right, now it's your turn to make a residual plot for this data set. Good luck.